Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today's forgotten and old school workout is going to be the cross bench pullover. A very versatile exercise that can target chest, legs, abs and triceps and it can expand your rib cage if you're younger than 25 and your growth plates hasn't been sealed yet and if you're older you can only thicken it but there's still something you can do about it. Uh, made popular by Arnold, something which I feel like I'm going to say a lot during this series, the pullover was first declared the best exercise for developing a deep chest by Alan Calvert, founder of the Milo Barbeck company and uh, Strength magazine uh, around 1900, 1911. Um, in the early 70s, the pullover machine was invented by Arthur Jones. That's just a brief history of everything. How to do a cross bench pullover? Well, I've read an article, and I'll link it down below. And <coughs> he was being trained to have a very big uh, uh, rib cage to expand his rib cage. And his trainer said that it involved a back arch rib cage thrust and a stomach vacuum. Things that you can find in a very uh, in a pullover if done correctly. Now we're just going to do the simple versions and then we're going to do the full out pullover. Pop the dumbbell on the bench and squat on one side. Grab the dumbbell with a diamond grip and lay across the bench only touching your upper back. Bring the weight above your chest and slightly bend your elbows. Bring the weight down as low as possible and bring the weight up till it's above your chest again and repeat. Alright. So to target your chest what you want to do is join me if you will. No, join me. Not if you will. You're going to join me right now. Uh, first things first, during the, the pullover, you want to have your elbows slightly in. It's just ever so slightly. While you're here, this is the downward position, so you're lowering the weight. When you're here, what you want to do is squeeze the pecs, and the pecs only. You do not squeeze anything, squeeze the pecs. Okay? Let's do it together. Squeeze only the pecs. See how far you can bring it? It's here. But now you can still keep squeezing the pec, yep, and bring it in. Do you feel the the tension in there. That's exactly what you want to have. This is how you target the chest. To target the back, what you want is your elbows to be slightly out. Again, ever so slightly. And when you're here, again, so you lower the weights. Lowering of the weights, you can already feel stretching your legs. Now when you're here, what you want to do is, you want to imagine that there's a rope attached to your elbow and that is where you're pulling the weight from. You're pulling with your elbows, initiating the start with your elbows. What you want to do is go elbows towards hips, bring it in, bring it in, and you can feel it in your lats. To get that rib expanding benefit or thickening, <laughs> hold a vacuum. Drop your hips while you go while the weight goes down. And as the weight goes up, you go up with your hip. Now we have that vacuum, that back arch, and that ribcage thrust that we talked about. If you're not flexible enough to get in that very good back arch. You can do back bends. They, they can also help to stretch to get into the movement. And that's it, guys. That's how you can grow a few inches on your rib cage, back, and chest. Uh, be careful if you have bad shoulder mobility. Uh, it could be painful. If you feel any pain at all, you should really call your physician like right away. <laughs> Thank you, guys, so much for watching. And do not forget to smile unless you're breaking a beer. Double digit thousand. <laughs>